the new Nike Metcon 7s are out and there's a lot going on. <laughs> Who's excited to wear these really awkwardly, oddly colored shoes? I was pretty pumped to spend money on something that <laughs> kind of looked like this. These came from the Netherlands, which is kind of crazy. So for the rest of this video, we are going to break down the differences between the Metcon 7s and the Noble Trainers. Um, and then we're just going to work out with them to see which one is actually better. After all that, we're going to tell you which one we like better. Now, if this is the first time you're watching one of our videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. And get all your stuff through our links because this is an unsponsored channel. This is unsponsored ca content. We've been offered money to do sponsored posts before, but that's not who we are. We're reviewers, not influencers. Right, Monty? It's so warm in here. Now, Aaron and I would consider the Nike Metcons and the Nobles to be the most popular cross-training shoes out there. And for that reason, we've decided to have them go head-to-head -head in this video to figure out which of the two is the best option for your CrossFit workouts. So first, we'll quickly go through all the details and data we've collected and see which of the two looks best on paper. And then we'll really put them to the test with a bunch of workouts and give you our thoughts on which shoe takes the lead for cross-training workouts. All the data collected was done on a women's size seven and a half for both the Metcons and Nobles. Now, even though they're the same shoe size, the Metcons are a little larger, well, everywhere. <laughs> the Metcons are larger in length, toe box width, and heel width. The Metcons are also a little bit heavier than the Nobles at 278 grams, while the Nobles stand at 250 grams. In terms of heel thickness, ball of foot thickness, and drop, the Metcons are also larger. So it's not such a huge difference in drop when compared to the Metcon 6s or 5s that came with the Hyperlift. The one area that the Nobles do beat out the Metcons are actually in a very important part of the shoe, and that's the hardness of the insole. The Nobles are harder at 41 duros on the ball of foot and 42.4 duros on the heel, whereas the Metcons have a hardness of 38.5 for the ball of foot and 37.5 duros on the heel. This might affect how power is transferred through your feet when weightlifting. And and finally, when it comes to extra features that might help or add value to your workouts, the Nobles don't really have anything that stands out other than their dozens and dozens of color options. And the Metcons used to have a Hyperlift, which they've ditched for the Sevens. Kind of bummed about that, not gonna lie. But they've added a Velcro strap that locks your laces. Aside from that, they also have a heel clip that helps when doing handstand push-ups and a textured midfoot that will give you a good grip when doing rope climbs. So on paper, it looks like the Metcon Sevens are beating the Nobles, by a little bit. Let's see what happens when we work out with them. Here's what we did to figure out the difference IRL. Really? IRL? IRL. You couldn't just say in real life? IRL. <laughs> So here's what we did to see the difference between the new Metcon 7s and the official shoe of functional fitness and normal trainers in a wad. We tried to make this as efficient as possible by wearing a different shoe on each foot, which meant we had to come up with a zombie Metcon of three and six front and back squats, a snatch complex of deadlifts, hang squat, snatch, and overhead squat, a clean complex of deadlifts, hang squat, cleans, and a jerk, a 600 meter run, 50 double unders, eight box jumps, eight Cossack squats, and 16 lunges. Now we did this cycle twice as we had to wear the Metcons on our left feet and then the Nobles on the right. And then for the second round, we had to swap out the two because, well, we're reviewers, not influencers. And we felt that was the easiest way to feel the difference between the two different shoes. We also tested the shoes against locking out with a rope, deadlifts, ski erging, biking, walking Monty. Why did you call that a zombie Metcon? Because I shoved as much stuff into that wad as I possibly can. There's no rhyme or reason to that wad. It was just like, here's all the stuff we have to do with it. We'll just slog right through it. So after all that, what'd you think about the Metcon 7? Wait, you forgot something. What did I forget? It was over 30 when we did that workout. Degree Celsius, it was a little warm. I it's like dying. 30 degrees right now in the studio. <laughs> um, we actually did another uh, comparison wide, exact, the exact same one, but with the Metcon 6s versus the 7s. And we are currently replenishing our salt intake by drinking Micheladas. Micheladas. Micheladas, so do check that video out <laughs> on our other channel. So between the Metcon 7s and the Nobles, um, I could definitely feel like a huge difference. It was like really awkward to work out with one on each foot. Um, the Nobles have like a lot more space 
in the shoe for your foot. The sevens are really snug, um, but they do feel a lot more stable in my opinion than the nobles. Um, I like the support that they have, especially like on the midfoot. Um, they felt better when weightlifting too. The drop, like the difference in drop was very noticeable. Um, and they also felt better when running. I feel like the nobles feel like you're running with just like blocks on your feet. It's very uncomfortable. Clop, 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 <laughs> clop, clop, clop. Now for me, I couldn't find any reason why I would wear the nobles in that workout other than the obvious fact that they are pretty. In fact, there's actually only two exercises, actually one exercise and one reason that I'd actually go and get nobles if I wasn't a reviewer. For the Metcon 7s, they felt better for any of the squat movements. They were way more supportive and the higher drop just meant that going below, well, going to the hole was just a lot easier, especially for me because I've got a busted ankle on this. I can't show you the ankle. <laughs> Can you just say left or right? <laughs> <laughs> My left ankle. Uh, the Metcon 7s do feel quite a bit tighter in the toe box, so that cue of like gripping and trying to pull the towel apart with your feet isn't going to really work well uh, with the Metcon 7s. Now the Nobles, as Val said, are just much roomier. It's like a minivan for your toes, but the lower drop was borderline uncomfortable um, on my bad left ankle. Running with the Metcon 7s was better as there was a bit more support. If you're a heel runner, the thicker heel on the Metcon 7s is going to be a lifesaver. And as Val said, the Nobles felt like, well, you were running with blocks, clop, clop, clop. Clop, clop, clop on your feet like it was just terrible like I went and did when I was prepping for Murph I went and did a uh, training session for Murph with these and my heels fell asleep in them like they were just rough to wear I can't believe you nailed that description it's like a minivan for your feet mm -hmm. so basically anything that involves jumping like the box jumps the skipping the cushioning with the Metcon 7s just made those exercises feel way better than the foot that was in the Nobles. And the last thing that I noticed through my workouts was that the tread on the Metcon 7s felt better. The grip on the front half, the top half, depending on how you're looking at it, uh, is quite pliable. Like these pieces kind of move. So anytime that I like land on the floor or on ground or like on a box, like there was kind of that sound. And so like, it felt like my foot was like locking into whatever surface I was pressing into. And just that little blip, it wouldn't even like, it wasn't a delay. It just made me feel, feel more comf confident in that moment with my feet. Um, so that, yeah, it was kind of neat. So I feel it's pretty clear who Val and I think is the winner between these two shoes. It's gonna be the Nobles because there's so many colors to choose from. Because seriously, who cares that they feel like bricks when you're running with them and who quit? Who cares when they're terrible at squatting and you know jumping and you know, it's all about aesthetics when it comes to these shoes. So, you know, bright yellow training shoes, Nike's not gonna have that. <laughs> they also won't have the name of your favorite CrossFitter on the bottom. Oh no! Isn't that the new ones? Yeah, like, <laughs> to me! Yay! Or the word CrossFit on the oh bottom, so you can be like, I do CrossFit, because yeah. you're not talking about it enough already. Because these bright yellow no, shoes <laughs> don't give it away that say noble on them. We're a bunch of pretentious douches, aren't we? I know. <laughs> We really are. On a serious note, there's actually only two reasons why I would go with the Nobles is that if the only exercise you do all the time is deadlifts, these are great deadlifting shoes. And the other thing is that you can wear these all day and not have your feet hurt. Again, minivan for your toes, minivan for your feet. Whereas in these uh, Metcon 7s, after like a wad, like my feet feel like they're suffocating. Like they're just so tight. My toes went numb running in them. Cause they were, I'm not lying. Cause they were so tight on the top. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> Anyways, what's your final verdict between these two shoes? Even though my toes fell asleep, the Metcon 7s are better than the Nobles for just all around cross training workouts. Anyway, from a price perspective, the Metcon 7s are $170 and the basic Noble trainers started around $167. There are cheaper ones, but those have a canvas finish rather than the super fabric finish. So you can't even use cost as a justification to get the Nobles. I seriously, <laughs> like these shoes are not good. Not good. Anyways, that's all we got for this video. Questions, comments, leave them down there. First time watching one of our videos, what can they do, Val? You can hit subscribe and hit the notification bell. You can get your stuff through our links. 
depending on how old this video is, because these probably won't be on Amazon, but the Metcon 6s will be. They are a better pair of shoes from our perspective. Anyways, that's kind of all we got. Are we missing anything, Monty? Thanks for watching.